And these third graders from Park Ridge Elementary ought to know. They just experienced how cool the human brain is by getting a first-hand look and feel. They're part of a program called Brains to Classroom, sponsored by Banner Sun Health Research Institute in Sun City, Arizona. Most people do not get to touch a human brain ever in their entire life, so to do that in third grade is pretty amazing. Believe it or not, the ick factor just didn't seem to factor in for any of these kids. I'm all about girl stuff, and that was like right up my alley. Like, I loved doing that. I'll definitely do it again. We touched a human brain, and it's you always expect it to be pinkish and grayish and squishy, but it's really white and hard. Brittany Duggar has been toting around brains to classrooms for about 10 years now. This associate scientist at Banner Sun Health Research Institute says exposing kids at an early age is the best way to spark a lifelong interest in learning. Oh, I'm always surprised at the questions that the kids have because you come in as a mindset, oh, these are kids. That's what a lot of people think. But they're mannerisms and usually they'll have such insightful questions. How does the brain work? That's one of the questions that we had today. And that's a huge question and that's what we study. That's what we do. She also says capturing their imagination and attention is all about making it fun. Initially when we did it, half the kids would be like, ew, half the kids would be cool. So you bring in humor to kind of bring it down to that level of, hey, look, science is amazing. Science is cool. This is a brain in a jar. Dr. Brittany, she just um, grabs the children's attention with her humor. And so right away they're engaged. I wish everyone could be a scientist. I really do. You think about it, you're a scientist in everyday life. Right, you, exper you cook, right? Pretty much everyone cooks, and when you experiment with those flavors, you're technically being a scientist. This highly unusual and hands-on approach to science also teaches kids the value of taking good care of their own brains by eating healthier and not smoking. Anytime you do hands-on, you're going to remember a lot more than just learning it from a book, those words. They're going to remember the motions like Dr. Brittany did different motions with them about different parts of the brain so that they remember. That's how children learn and remember better. I didn't touch the brain and not because I didn't want to. It's just um, I was just busy monitoring kids, you know, getting them to what station they were supposed to at and busy taking pictures. But I would have. It's really a no brainer that this once in a lifetime experience will be something these eager young minds won't soon forget. The brain is so cool. Oh!